Hello again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and this is another video in the series What's That Guitar? Taking a look and a listen to the various guitars that you'll hear me playing on YouTube videos and you'll see hanging up on the walls in the studio here. Uh, today's a little bit of a cheat because it's not a guitar, it's actually a ukulele, it's this one, it's my Laka VUS50 Soprano Uke. I got this a few years ago, um, if you remember back probably about four or five years ago there was a, a big sort of like surge in popularity for the ukulele all the music stores suddenly seem to be selling them and it's a great little, little instrument it's very sort of accessible great for kids to learn on because it's not like requiring big stretches the way that you do with a with a guitar which can sometimes be a little bit challenging for for young hands you can get them relatively inexpensively so if your know, parents want want kids to learn on a ukulele rather than spending you know hundreds of pounds on a guitar it's quite cost effective way to get get kids into playing instruments and for me it was just something a little bit different that might kind of inspire me to play something uh, different explore new avenues and also it's really really portable so if, it, if i'm traveling and i want to take an instrument with me so i can you know, maybe playing a, uh, like in my hotel room of an evening if I've got time to kill. It's easier just to carry a little ukulele around in a case rather than it is to take a big heavy guitar. So that uh, perspective, really useful. The thing that really inspired me to uh, to get this was I was on, I was on holiday, just having a couple of days up in Edinburgh and was walking down the Royal Mile and I saw an amazing, amazing ukulele player called Zara Lousley. Uh, she was playing the ukulele in a way I have never ever heard the ukulele being played before. I'll put some information about Zara down in the uh, information section down there. But yeah, hearing her play was a real eye opener for me and an ear opener, if you like, because it made me realise what you could do with a uke rather than just, you know, I tend to think of it as, as all a bit sort of like, you know, the. type of stuff but you can play much more um, uh, adventurous stuff and it just made me think yeah this, this is an instrument that's worth exploring so I was at a guitar show and there was a guy who had a stand selling ukuleles and I got this one quite attractively priced thing that kind of drew me to it apart from the fact it's a soprano which is like the smallest size ukulele you can get so like I said, it's, it's good for traveling with is it's, it's got a built-in tuner which is just really really convenient so it's a all mahogany uh, body, back sides and uh, sapili neck. Tuners perfectly functioning with functional uh, open back tuners with a nice like perloid tune uh, tuning buttons on there. And it's just got a for me it's just like a really nice usable ukulele. I didn't want to go completely budget because. Uh, when you get something with the budget end playability kind of suffers a little bit but you know this is nice they've, they've put some nice features on it um, nice tusk nut some really nice strings came as standard and it's got a, a very very pleasing sound Yeah, so it's got some nice sounds on, on board and it kind of makes me play differently to the way I would play on a guitar. thing that kind of threw me a little bit with this was the tuning because a ukulele in its normal tuning, it's tuned to like a A minor 7 chord, but the top string is actually tuned to a, a, a G. So that's your, your, what you would think of as being the lowest string on a guitar. And this is what you would think as being the highest string on the guitar. Yeah, it's only there's only a couple of semitones difference between the two of them. So that took a little bit of uh, getting my head around. But I used a copy of Fat Fish, which has got a ukulele mode in it. So I kind of dialed dialed in a ukulele to get my head around the uh, the layout of the fingerboard, and then started applying my music theory knowledge so I knew what notes were available to me, so what I could actually play. And that's where. You know, I always preach about the idea of understanding what you're playing when you play guitar and understanding the, the, the notes and the music theory behind what you're playing. Because when you transition from one instrument to another, music theory is kind of you, is your constant. So I know that if I'm playing in the key of C major, I've got the chords of C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, and so on. Play those on guitar, 
those same chords apply on the ukulele. I just need to figure out what the, the layout of the fingerboard is, where those notes are, and therefore how to play the chord shapes. And then the, the music that I know how to play on the guitar also works on the ukulele, but because it's tuned differently and it feels differently, it makes me approach it in a different way. And my, my style, I, the style in which I play is different to the way I play on guitar. And it's got a different voice as well, which affects the way that you play. You probably noticed I was playing there with my, just with my fingers. I did try playing with a, a pick. This is a proper ukulele pick, quite a thick, like felt pick, but I just couldn't get away with it. It just didn't feel comfortable. Guitar pick certainly didn't work. Felt pick uh, felt even weirder. So I thought I'm just going to persevere and, and uh, play with my fingers. So there you go. That's uh, guitar of the day in a slightly cheaty sort of uh, video. It's not a guitar, it's a ukulele. It's my Laka VUS 50 Soprano Uke. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please click like down there. If you really enjoyed it and you want to see other videos that I post on the channel, then please click subscribe, which is also down there. You're welcome to leave a comment, but I don't always see comments that are left on videos. So if you've got a specific question that you want to ask me, whether it's about guitars or ukuleles, guitar playing, music theory, gear, anything at all, you're better off going here, filling that form in, send your question in. That way I'm guaranteed to see it and I can get around to answering your question in a future video. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.